Good morning, Saitlanders. How are you? I hope that you're well. Um, I'd like to tell you a quick story about an experience that I had last night, which I think, uh, I believe, I feel is one of the best experiences that I've had in the time that I've, you know, been part of Saitlanders or worked for Saitlanders or done things for Saitlanders, <clears throat> as I did some translations in 2015 before I became really involved. Um, because this just appeals to me. Uh, last night, I was privileged to sit in on a Skype conference call involving West Rand province leadership. And the conference call was all about a kind of a, I think the correct term in English is a thought experiment. How it works is like this. gives the guys like a week in advance, he gives them a nominal sector. It's completely random. It could be in Cape Town, it could be in Natal, it could be in the far north. Um, it's just a random piece of ground. And then a week later, everybody comes back and they give a five minute, just five minute voorlegging on what their department or their function would do with that sector. So it's like our Onfang sectors. As you know, we have a ring of Onfang sectors of about uh, kilometers, which are specifically intended to receive people from distressed areas without them having to go too far, without them having to travel, let's say, a thousand, uh, six hundred kilometers to safety, for argument's sake. And so our provinces and uh, sectors, the, 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 the provinces populate the sectors. And they set up this on Fong's capacity with an intention, obviously, with time of moving into a more verdedigings position in a safe area. And so these guys each give a, a little thing. And it's absolutely fantastic. The thought that's gone into it, the planning, I, I don't know how many other provinces are doing something similar. I know that some provinces, I can think of one, are very good on that kind of stuff. And speaking as a projects manager of special projects over many, many years, I know that the benefit is that even if things don't turn out the way that you hope that they will, even if the people whom you hoped would arrive don't arrive, even if you don't end up in a place that is to your benefit and advantage, no matter what happens, you will have already given thought to the possibilities and to the fundamental structure. From that, you can adapt. From that, you can be flexible. From that, you can take things as they come. But you walk into a, a, a circumstance or a condition or a situation, if you like, or a location in which everybody knows what they've got to do, number one, and what they've got to do and how they've got to do it relative to the next person and the next department. For instance, over time, their head of medical, excuse me, is establishing the fundamental criteria for her department to function effectively in the field. Now, medical being a number one priority, or being one of the top priorities, will therefore dictate to other people. So when they go into the field, they may know, for instance, that has said, we must be near to water, or we must have lots of shade, or we must be on level ground, or we must be very close to, ah, for argument's sake, the communications guys. When others set up, they know how to position themselves in relation to department. People won't sickle concerning where to park their vehicles. They won't struggle so much about, gee, where should I go? Where may I go? Where is best for me to go? Where should I put my tent? Please help me, help me, help me. I'm number 25 in the queue. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. You know, three days later, you've got things figured out. These guys are figuring these things out prior to even leaving the unsafe regions of South Africa. And for me, 
personally, as I say, uh, as a projects manager of many years and as somebody who is like all of us here today for a specific reason. Some of us are more motivated by Mr. Miller's charisma, others by Wimsina van Rensburg, others by the Bible, the Buddha folk, etc., etc. For me, it was marvelous, absolutely fantastic. Well done, guys.